Hello everybody, this is Refresh, and I'm here to test out Domri's Might, which is the digital version of Domri's Planeswalker deck from Ravnica Allegiance. I'm going to be playing five games of this in play mode, and this is during Ikoria Standard, so you will see some probably naughty things on the part of my opponents, and we'll see how we can do. I tried doing this in Standard Ranked, but there's just no chance that this deck has in standard rank to win anything so hopefully we'll run into some equally jank decks in play a mode and get there so let's go ahead and get started with game number one our first opponent is a key aki a key i think it's just a key all right we got two drops and things to do so we'll keep this Got a tapped Sacred Foundry. Already have a card, probably more valuable than the rest of this deck. Uh, let's go ahead and put the uh, counter on that. Give us a chance of breaking through. And also, the Bulwark Clan counter, Clan Crusher, demands the removal of one plus one plus one counters to do its ability. So, definitely want to uh, keep up the ability here. I think we're going to be able to get through for free, so I'm going to attack first. If we can kill this without having to... That's for free. Uh, I'm going to finish this off here to reduce the capacity of my opponent to deal some extra damage before they finish me off with the Zenith Flare, because it looks like that is the deck that they're working towards here. Yep, Valiant Rescuer. Sure. Go on my turn. Go to my turn. Play this. Go in on the attack again. They'll probably just take it. Yep. Play a frenzied Aranx. Yep, they're cycling like they, they ought to. Put the counter on this to make that bigger. Yep. And then we'll just keep the attacking going. It's pretty good. Yep. Oh, I don't know why they tapped out. That was interesting. Because now I can just smash. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. Smash. Yep. Put the Clan Crusher. That'll give me a chance to shoot down the Rescuer. I just got to play aggressive. Because as soon as this deck gets to its Zenith Flare... I am like, I am Dobbs. That's that's annoying. Yep. Okay, so it can get up to four four, but uh, it's not gonna. We'll see. All right, all right. We've got options here. Uh, do I want to scare them? This, if it gets up to 4-4, four, four, that'll still let the Zerta beat, so I think we attack all. Yep. Make a guy, get a big guy. Yep, yep, yep. That's all fine. Yep. Yep. Probably try to trade, but the Aranx is going to get huge. Okay. I, 
think I take this trade. And I offer this to get a little bigger. Do we trade one for one? You cycle? Well, I'm not gonna... Yeah, okay, that's fair. I gotta get rid of their threat, so that's fair. Okay, well, I got left on the weak side here. I'm definitely on the back foot. As expected, I mean, the cycling deck is a a standard metagame deck, and so, yeah, now they have that and some more cycling cards, so. It's very unlikely that I would win, but. You know, you, you gotta keep trying, right? And now my opponent has infinite blockers. Maybe I should have just shot down the Valiant Rescuer, and that's what I should have done. Uh, I can't stop that. Okay, we'll take the hit. This is really bad, because my opponent probably has a Zenith Flare. Um, yeah, we should attack. Every attack. Yep, you're gonna cycle twice. I'm gonna activate this ability. And that's like costs my opponent nothing, really. Yeah, I need to get rid of that rescuer somehow. Oh, interesting. I guess they needed to uh, keep the long game. Okay, they're using that on the defensive. All right, well, we'll attack. Okay, in which case, I think we play... Actually, uh, it's gonna be hard to win. Play the beast. I'm gonna have to take a hit from the reflection if they attack with that but life this is life playing a planeswalker deck in you know versus a standard meta deck oof now i don't think i have any chance that's a lot of life gain where's this card again i haven't seen that heartwarming reduction pretty good Yep. 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 Make a big guy attack. Burn me out next turn. Yeah. No blocks. You got me. I don't think I can come back from this. Now I'm on the back foot. 100% on the defensive. I'm drawing lands because this deck has too many lands. Uh, so counter. Put this down. Next. No tax in the turn. We've lost. I I I think we lost in turn one because I'm playing against you know a good deck. <laughs> but you know, for science, I gotta show whether this this planeswalker deck has any can pass any kind of anything resembling muster. And I I will tell you right now, it it could not even kind of remotely close. Okay. Yep, you're coming at me. Just the one thing. Go to blockers. Block here. Block. I'm gonna take two, and they'll probably burn me out for four. Or more. Probably more than four. Actually, I should have blocked, like, gang block with everybody, I guess. Because now they just burn me out with the Zenith Flare and win. Right. Oh, they don't have it. Well, I'm not attacking, so... Yeah, next turn. My opponent's gonna go wide and then swarm me, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Maybe go as wide as possible. Well, I mean, they're gonna beat me. It's just a matter of how they beat me. Foxture. I I don't even see why they don't just straight up attack this turn because 
they're gonna win. Yeah. If they're not attacking, that just means that they don't really know what they're doing with this deck. Or maybe they're just trying to, like, get points for their quests to get through, like, um, X amount of red or white cards cast or whatever. But yeah, you should be attacking this turn. If they don't attack, then I'm a probably superior magic player against a far superior deck. Okay, alright. Okay. They know what they're doing. We're gonna pass the blockers, we'll block, we'll block, and then we're gonna die. We'll cast this. I mean, that's all I got. I'm gonna lose. That's four damage coming in, coming in at me. Good game. Not that it was good. I did stand a chance from the very start because I was playing a Planeswalker deck. Feels bad, right? Let's keep going. My opponent's War Stinger with a Johnny face. Ugh, all red cards. I can cast two of them. Don't know if I'm going to be able to cast these. I think I still have to keep it. This deck is hungry for resources. This is still always a way I could draw into green. Alright, black vampire desire moon. Uh, what? I know that there is a deck that does this. Is this a lifelink deck? But let's wait to kill a payoff if I'm gonna have to kill something. That's an enabler of some sort. This might be the Allurus. No, the Allurus. Oh, it's definitely a lifelink deck. But again, these are not payoffs. Uh, I'm also getting screwed on mana here. As I am want to do, I guess. Um, I'll take one more round of hits, just in case I have something more important coming at me. Yeah. Like that guy, that guy just keeps getting bigger, so I will need to kill him. But I can die in short order with against this deck too. For sure. How dead am I? Ooh, pretty dead. Drawing all the wrong kinds of mana. Pretty good. Do I have a way to kill that? Nope. Just drawing. Drawing nothing. Just drawing a whole lot of nothing. Well, I guess that means I'm dead. Yeah, my opponent's like wondering. What do they have? Oh, this is a vampire. Team vampire deck. Okay. I mean, I'm still super dead. I don't think there's a thing in this deck that will get me out of this. Also, you know, not being able to cast anything uh, makes this feel real bad, too. I cast one spell, drew zero forests out of all the lands in this deck. This is just variance. It's not because this deck is bad. I mean, this deck is really bad, but I'm not losing because this deck is bad. I'm losing because of variance. I will just cast this. Dying. Okay, this is not an example of how bad this deck is. Sometimes you just don't draw the lands, especially when you have 26 lands, you should be drawing lands. I should be drawing lands. I should be flooded more than screwed, so that's just really bad variants. Um, but yeah, this deck, not good, but th that is not proof that the deck is not good. That is just proof that variants have some magic. Alright, we're against Schwarzard. Maybe the name has something to do with their actual name. Okay, I'm not gonna keep this hand. Like, I can't cast anything here at all. So, Mulligan. Uh, yeah, I mean, this, this has some really bad creatures, but life is like that sometimes. Uh, we'll... T I'm gonna put the Stony Strength on the bottom, because that's not what, not what I care about here. I just need to try to get in there and win before my opponent can do anything. So, 
basically I have to hope that they uh, are screwed. And that I can take advantage of that. But my opponent started with a Windscarred Crag. I'm guessing this is also a cycling deck. Maybe a budget cycling deck. No? Oh, interesting. You got a first Ricker. Well, I'm not attacking into that. We will cast a Brush Strider, though. So this is a... Uh, oh, this might be the... Uh, well, no, they're playing a Windscarred Crag, so it's not the actual uh, Mentor deck. The... Uh, I don't think there was one from Guilds of Radica, was there? So, but this is a mentor deck of some sort. I mean, you don't see you, know, this, you don't see decks like this that up frequently. So, okay. I mean, they're staying on the defensive. I can't do much. I'm gonna cast this with the counter so that I can use the counter to blow off the guy. Um, no attacks. Yeah. I need to blow up Sun Hoon Stalwart. I don't gotta blow up stuff in general, but. Blow up a Clan Crusher will get me there if I can draw into the land. Okay, Banner End, sure. Give me for two, sure. Yep, yep. They have Mano Event, I have a trick. I can't, like, run into that. So, I got this. That's good. Means I'm gonna get this. It's also good. I can take out two, but it's two now, but it's possible that my opponent's gonna try to Goblin Banneret their Sunholm Stalwart up, so that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, but this is definitely a much more fair deck against my deck right now, so. We're both Ravnica era decks against each other, and I think this is about as fair of a fight as you could hope for with this set or this environment, I guess. Yeah, I can't do anything about those two. That's fine. Okay, let's draw something. That's fine. I'm gonna tap this. Shoot you. Yep. Removing this counter. Yep. Get rid of their defender. And then we are going to attack with the two of you. Okay, we're going to play another Frenzy Barracks. And then we'll pass. I should be able to shoot down the Goblin Banneret, and then my monsters are probably a little too big for their little guys. Yeah, I'll trade. Oh, they didn't pump before, so that's interesting. I'm surprised that they didn't. Trade. Yeah, this, that's fair. Alright. So, they don't have any blockers. I think the fair thing to do is just attack, right? Yeah, I think my damage potential is much too high not to just attack with everybody. Yeah. Alright, sure. We're gonna go wide. So, do we have? We might actually have a chance here, which is pretty incredible. I mean, it does look like my opponent's breaking a little, so that, that's part of it. But yeah, uh, we can make one not block, and then shoot down the other one. And I think uh, this it doesn't make sense to play this. So I can attack with two of these, or I can just attack with the team. They can block three of them, so I'll probably block the Brush Strider, or two of them, because that'll keep them from blocking with the Dagger Seal. Um, 
Yeah, I think I think the attrition plan is actually slightly better here for me than shooting one of them and then losing a, a turn of damage, right? Shoot one of them. Like that. Force that not to block. Actually, that's probably better. Okay. Uh, we'll shoot you. Submit. Take it from here. No. And then, uh, we're gonna go to combat. Everybody's willing to attack. We'll make it so that you can't block. And then, you have to block the brush strider. Yeah. And then we'll just follow through this, because who knows what I'm gonna draw next turn. And my opponent's in big trouble. Unless he can get a lot of life, where they can finish me off. One of those two. But, that's not going to save them. Alright, we got there, but only because we basically played against the draft deck. And that is where the power level of this Planes Rocket deck is. I think the Planes Rocket deck is actually less than a draft deck. So, good on us. Let's keep going. Alright, birthday boy. Happy birthday. You're going to be playing against a very weak opponent. They've got owls and stuff. I've got all green mana. Not going to keep this for sure. Because, yeah. I made this mistake before. I'm not going to make it again. Especially if I can't cast anything in my opening hand. Alright, we'll keep this. It's not ideal, but we'll keep it. Uh, and we'll dump one of these gruel gates because they don't do anything in this deck. Alright, that card is already better than the vast majority of everything in this deck, so... Yep, that's life. They're playing my card. The card. The card. I can match that pound for pound, so it's actually important that I take out the Petal Collector. It's a sad mana trade-off, you know, one for two, but... Life sometimes, right? They're looking at the Rage Fire like, what is this card? To which I say, yes. Yes. Exactly. Alright, uh... I'm behind on the race, so I actually need to play the Brush Rider. Slow things down a little. If I can draw another untapped land, then I can play the Boar. And hold up Stony Strength. Not that I need to. I would just gladly trade these two. They got a trick. Yeah, they got a trick. I don't mind trading the Brush Rider for that. It's fine. Okay. Uh, the Boar's gonna come in. Yeah, the board's gonna come in and it'll it'll be on blocking duty. Next, no attacks in the turn. Leaf can do it. What are you doing here? What is my opponent doing with their deck? Trade? Sure. Okay, we'll play you. Now it's our turn to Zertal. turn. What are they ramping into? That'd be something good. Or Lava Coil. Sure. Nah, okay, you got me. Well played, opponent. Well played. Again, I think I am up against a deck that might actually be on par with this deck. Uh, I mean, they're also playing Guild Gates and all that, so sure. We'll play this guy. Start getting, start getting the Bash in. Feel like maybe maybe I stand a chance here. Uh, that is a two five. So even if I cast this, my guy's gonna die. Yeah, my guy dies. You got him. Well done. Give him a nice for that. Okay. All right. They've run out of cards. Uh, I'm gonna cast the brush strider. 
And then we're gonna pass the turn. I can be on the attack and the defense and survive a savage fight or whatever that card was, savage smash. Yeah, that's a that's a big boy. Yeah. Yeah, you got vigilance and everything. Yikes. Well. You got mana. I mean, I'm just racing now. Uh, we'll haste. And then we'll attack. We'll make it so that you can't block. turn. So that's what you're ramped. Oh, th this? Is this my deck? No, because it's got the leafing roots. It's like my deck, but upgraded, isn't it? Alright, I'm dead next turn, though. Unless I also draw... No, that's not it. Okay. Well, go team. Make it so that you can't block. Uh, do I stand a chance at all? Let's see. Nope, I'm dead. That, that trample's got me. I mean, I'm gonna cast a Sony Strength. But, yeah. I lost. What is this deck? I think it I think it might be this deck. Just, you know, mildly upgraded or something. Something like that. Alright, I mean, we're gonna do it. Just because you gotta do what you can, but... We'll good game them. And then lose. Like a good planeswalker deck should. All right, last last game. All right, we're against Micaro, 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 something like that. All right, we got. Colors of mana, two drop, three drop. Yeah, we'll, we'll try this. Go team aggro. Starting with Gruel, Gruel Gilgate. Nice kitty. We gotta get the beatdowns going, so we'll play this. Okay, black and green. Temporary mana. So we've got that guy. Uh, okay, so this is one another one of those players. Uh, I think we want to just get as aggressive as possible, right? Yeah. They're going to trade the one for the three, probably. Oh, interesting. Sure. We're gonna rage fire anything that's more threatening. Like if they cast a, uh, we don't care about paradise druid. Maybe they're. Uh, hmm. I wonder. I wonder what their deal is. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna attack. You're not gonna block with your paradise druid, probably. Oh, you are gonna block with your paradise druid. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Sure. What else do they have going on? Card control. He exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, put a carnal troll, charnel troll on it. Okay. So I have to do the dumb thing now and just like burn this thing out. Yeah. Get rid of it while I can. Two for one myself. Number three. Oh, this doesn't have Vigilance. I thought I had Vigilance for some reason. Yep, Sir Conrad. Sure. Uh, we're gonna haste you. I need to get through Sir Conrad here. And then just try to stay ahead on the race. Yeah. Uh, Dirt deals one damage. They don't gain life, though. Oof. Liara. That's trouble. Alright, well, we lost the game. I mean, 
I think we lost the game pretty early on once they played that eternal troll and all that, but uh yeah. We'll attack. Uh we'll make it so that you can't block. So that you can't block. Yeah, sure. We'll do some training. Yep, I'm taking hits. I'm gonna lose. Pretty badly. I'm not sure that there is a card in this deck that oof. There's combos and, and all sorts of stuff going on here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that I can do to win this. Frenzied Erinx is not gonna do it. But we'll play it. I mean we should play we should play the cards because we have the cards. Um we'll keep this on the on hold. Nope. We can at least stop the Sir Conrad beats. They probably have removal. Removal. It is it does have protection from my cards though, so. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna lose to Nightmare Shepherd there unless I can draw. I don't think there's anything in this deck that gets me past this, that does it? Nope. Uh, is there any any possible way that I can get through this? No, I'm gonna die to that next turn. So Zerta. Put in on the haste plan. We're gonna lose. For sure. There's no way for us to win, so we'll just everybody attack and, and then die on the backswing. Oh, I'm gonna get three through. Oh, interesting. Yep, that's fair. Yep. Ah, you saw through that. Good game. Good game. You got me. Let's let them finish me off. We will give you the satisfaction, because honestly, the one game that this deck won, like. You know, <laughs> was actually against an appropriately suitable like build. So now you know what it's like to play Darmri's Might on Magic Arena. I, I think the easiest thing to note here, here right now is like when you, if you were gonna take this deck onto Arena, first thing you do is you remove a couple lands from here and then just start replacing most of the cards here because this deck is. Like, you, no one's going to play a Feral Macaw in any reasonable deck. This is as junk of a card as you can get. And, you know, the the strategy here is very, very slow. You have to naturally get up to be able to cast these cards. And this is, like, you're going to cast... How are you going to cast an 8-drop on anything but, like, turn 20, right? So, for the most part, I would not expect this deck to do well as it is. Straight from getting the Arena Code and putting it in. So... This deck demands a lot of upgrades, just like any other Planeswalker deck would when you're playing it on Arena. Even against your average play deck, you'd just have to be lucky against somebody also playing as jank of a deck as you in order to to win. If they did their own homework and they, even if it's a jank like all commons deck, you still would have to get lucky to win. So that is life playing Domri's Might in Magic Arena. Upgrade your decks! Let me know your thoughts about this video. If I made any major play errors, let me know so I can get better at playing these terrible decks against, you know, actual decks. And if this video was enjoyable or helpful to you, hit the like button if you'd like to see more such videos, hit subscribe. This was Refresh. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.